And just let me say personally, thank you for this place and this company. So I ran from Los Angeles, California to New York City in 1971, miserable, 50 miles a day for 71 days, and then it soon go away. And so I came here to see her and she showed me the machines and nothing wrong with me. I said, we all, just get up on it. And I get up on it. And I don't think I'd be here today if it wasn't for that, because it finds things that you don't find. And we live in a culture where you pay no attention to it until something happens. Then you go and get all these tests. And one test overlap the other. And they give you a pill. They never tell you to take exercise. Just give you a pill. But somewhere we hooked up and I came here. And I got up off the machine, off the table. Man, what happened? I went to sleep, and I woke up, and my whole body changed. So I kept, you know, and then all of a sudden something like, you know, and like the cap broke, and everything that shouldn't be in there is not in there. And so I told everybody about it, huh? and that's her genius. She stays up with the technology. Just, just not technology they throwing, but what goes here, what balances this out, if I can get this through in the machine. Uh, 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 you think you're on another planet, and you listen to the rhythm, and I realize that's my rhythm. And it's like you just inject something in you and turn these little creatures around, and they just start sweeping stuff out. That's, what is, that's why I explained to my grandmother, but she don't understand the rest of this stuff. But the great thing about it is when you assume the inheritance for living is these pains you feel and shortness of breath and nobody's ever told us in our culture that that's not legitimate. And so I told her one day, I said, one day what you're doing is dangerous for yourself because when people find out what you're doing here, you will not be able to close. They'll come here with guns. My mama's not going to die. You're going to put on this machine. I've been here. I don't care how long you've been here. She's going to go on that machine because I've talked to people that know what happened. And so that's, that's why I'm here. And I've never told my wife I was that close to death because you, when, you, when you're close to death, you don't know it. You just feel stuff. You never know how close to death was until somebody pulled you out. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to say to my sister, thanks, not just for me, but for all the people she's helped. And I remember in the early days when she searched for her, I'm surprised she's still here. Did anybody want to hear that? If the doctor, if see the cyanide didn't tell me about it, okay? If Time Magazine didn't tell me about it. And she just stayed and stayed and stayed and stayed. And um, just thanks. Just thanks, that's all I would say. It's almost like when I think about what happened to me here, it's almost like, where'd she come from? Did she come from another planet? I mean, once she's not there, then she's there. And then she becomes a part of my life. And so, but her happiness and her joy, she's that way because she know what she's doing. See, truth don't have to be validated by ignorance. Truth validates itself. And that's a seed to walk in here and see everything's pumping on full. Everything's pumping on full. I thought I was at a Hollywood set. I've never seen nothing like this here. You know, the machines look like they're from another planet. Everything, blah, blah, blah. And boom, 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 boom. And everybody get up happy and smiling. And all I will say is say thanks. It's, it's a culture change. If you wasn't brought up with it, you see, everything that I eat that's been bad for me. The Ku Klux Klan didn't give it to me. The mafia didn't give it to me. I got it from my mother, from the church, from the state. TV never told me there's anything wrong. So how do I change that pattern when somebody that I've never met before tell me that means I got to go against my mother, my father, my family. They never said something this simple. So why would I believe it?
And so what you do is you take somebody you trust. I mean, I could bring your grandmother, great-grandmother here. And if we got some illegal kind of drug, they might like it, but they ain't going to share it with the family. And you got something good they share with the family. And grandma don't have to worry about. She trusts me, and she takes my word for it. That's the best thing, that's the best recommendation you can have, is I love and respect you, and so here. So I have no problem getting people in because of the amount of respect I get because of the human rights movement. So then they come and they just, and from that they tell everybody, hey, go by there, I can't believe this, you know. And so it is the most difficult thing is to question you, just says, how do you convince them, folks? that comes from a different culture. Well, I explained it to you. If you and I, 130 years ago, before there was automobiles and stuff, sit at a conference and say one day, horses would be obsolete, they'd hook us up, arrest us, and take us right to a mental hospital. You know, for thousands of years, the only thing we'd known was horsepower. You gonna sit here and tell who you think, I get angry at you, how you gonna tell me that one day horses would be obsolete. Yeah, that's where we are. And so I, uh, I, I'm going to really put some concentration, but you caught me off guard on that one. How do you tell someone, because you're messing with their culture, hmm? you're messing with their lifestyle. You mean something this simple? My mother didn't know this, my grandmother. And I look at all the people who have died, and now you tell me something this easy and this simple. And then one day I tried, and then I feel it. And then the people in my tribe, in that little circle, see it. And they say, let me go.